All right, guys, I got an exciting little RC to talk about today. Now, I usually go for good quality brands in RC, and Air Hogs is not a brand I would usually go to. However, I was looking for a small submarine to use in my fish tank just for fun, and I couldn't find anything that was small like this. As you can see, this is a very small submarine, very tiny, great for fish tanks. Couldn't find anything small that was also good. Now these are 40 bucks at Toys R Us. They are only available at Toys R Us. You can find them online, but they're usually like 60 bucks if you buy them somewhere else. Now what's cool about this, and the reason I bought it, we'll see how good it actually works, is it has six directions, or really three channels if you think about it. It has a surface and dive, and it actually fills a little tank on the submarine with water, and you're supposed to be able to control your dive, uh, the depth. So if that works good and I can control how high or low it is, that's pretty nice. It also spins, kind of like the rudder on a helicopter, it's going to spin without moving. Uh, so that's pretty nice, again we'll see how good that works. And then you got your standard forward and reverse. So this is actually pretty nice, I'm going to go over it a little bit more, but let me show you real quick uh, on the computer here. As you can see here, most other uh, micro submarines, this is one picture I found of one online, most others have these pr uh, props that just push upwards so it's actually pushing the submarine downward. They don't actually fill or have any type of depth control, they just move down by the propeller being used. So they're not a technically true submarine in the way that they work, they do go underwater, but that's the version that I did not want. So like I said, I wanted to find something that had more true controls and would actually work. So we'll go ahead and see works with infrared it's only got about a five foot range it's best for fish tanks so we'll go ahead and take it out of the box now and see what it comes with and then we'll test it out in my fish tank all right so here's what came in the box not that much really we just have our instruction manual have our submarine here and this is a waterproof door that closes and that's where you uh, have a charge plug so hopefully that stays waterproof also wanted to mention that the charge plug is also the power button there's some uh, plug in there and it connects the power when you close it. So when you close the waterproof seal, it turns on. So that's your power. When you uh, pull it off, it turns off. And then we have our uh, transmitter over here. And this is going to be our dive and our surface, spin, and forward and reverse. It does not come with batteries, although at Toys R Us they do ask you every time you check out if you want to buy batteries. Of course, they're very uh, expensive batteries, way overpriced, so I've got four double A's to throw in the transmitter here. You're going to need that. So let's go ahead and get this charged up and uh, throw it in my saltwater tank and see how it actually works. Alright guys, here we are at my turtle tank. Now the submarine will not work in my fish tank, which I should have known, I, I do know why, of course. But I put it in my saltwater tank first and obviously it won't work in there because saltwater is more buoyant. It would not sink in the salt water. Let me go ahead and get my camera in here. Alright, so now we'll go ahead and start up the uh, submarine. Close the uh, charge port. Turns it on and then you turn on the transmitter and it's on. So go ahead and put the back end in the water and turn on the prop. It says to go ahead and swish around the back to get any air bubbles that might be in there out. So now we're in the water. Let's go ahead and test the controls. We have reverse, which it's doing well. Forward, it's doing well. And we have um, spin, so let's get away from the wall, see if it'll spin. Okay, spin is awesome. It's spinning back just perfectly to the right. Now let's try it to the left. Oh, I'm hitting the wall, let me get a little bit away. Spin to the left, very nice. Let's go ahead and try diving it. Press this button and now it should be sucking in water and allowing us to dive here some people said there's some surface tension sometimes makes the first dive a little hard but I think we're starting to dive yeah see if we can get a little bit lower dive here it's definitely kind of lower in the water but it's not going under under the water yet this water is completely fresh should have no problem diving. Let me go ahead and surface it again even though it's on the surface. And it just shot out some water and air bubbles there. Now let me go ahead and try to dive it again. 
Okay, it's getting lower in the water, but it's not actually, okay. Now, ooh, raise the surface a little bit, getting too low. Okay, dive it a little bit. Nice. This is pretty neat, actually. This is keeping the same uh, depth. It's getting a little too high. Let me get it a little lower. Okay, now a little higher. I'm trying to get it to like one depth that it'll kind of steady out at. Each press of the button moves the water in and out just a little bit. It looks like I probably got a good depth here. And this really controls nicely. I'm pretty amazed actually. That's pretty pretty amazing. Little tiny RC that actually works. That's pretty cool. Now the uh, dive function isn't perfect. It's it's not, you know, keeping the exact depth perfectly for me. I'm kind of having to sometimes rearrange my dive depths here. But, I mean, we got nice reverse here, bumping into things. Reverse works good. The turtles haven't even gone by it yet. Let's see if we can go mess with one of the turtles. It looks like I have it at a good depth now. I'm not messing with the buttons anymore on top. And it's seeming to stay about the same depth. Got a turtle up there, but I don't think he cares too much about it. Go ahead and get a view from the top. All right, so here's a little top view. Go ahead and get it to dive a little bit more. And there it goes underwater. We got a turtle down there. I'm gonna go right next to him. I just landed on top of him. He didn't really care. Now I'm way on the bottom. Let's see if I can get off the bottom here. I'm stuck on the bottom, but no, it got right off the bottom, so you won't suck up sand, I guess. Seems like it kept working fine there. This is actually pretty darn neat. I wanted to show you guys one thing while I'm controlling it here, and I find this pretty cool too. I wouldn't expect this on a cheap little thing like this. It's certainly not that cheap, it's 40 bucks. But you can actually use all three channels at one time. You, sometimes on cheaper stuff like this, you know, it'll limit how many inputs it can do at one time. This you can actually use all three channels at the same time, and it'll, you know, send the input correctly. So as you can see, I'm using spin, forward, and reverse all at the same time. And then we still have my dive and surface, so I'm going to throw those in. So now we're diving and going forward and spinning. Now we're surfacing and going forward and spinning. Now we're going backwards and diving and spinning and going forwards and you know changing it up. And as you can see, it will do all controls at once. So that's pretty cool. So I kind of expected it might not do that. So that's kind of cool that it, it, it is fully functional like that. Alright guys, so that's the Air Hogs uh, Micro Submarine here, RC Submarine. Pretty darn cool actually. I'm pretty impressed with how this works. Now you need no movement in the water. You gotta turn off your filters because you know it's a very small submarine. It would just get blown around. But in still water, this thing does amazingly in this tank. I'm pretty darn impressed with it actually. So uh, it was able to hold the depth pretty good. Takes some getting used to, but I was able to get that going pretty good and turning and movement just perfect speed for the size of it and for a fish tank like this really cool so I would give this a thumbs up even though it's a brand that I wouldn't rec usually uh, use I uh, find this to be pretty darn cool I, I had a lot of fun with it so check out the Airhogs little micro submarine we'll see you guys later